Okay everyone, we are back here with another Uni tutorial. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but I haven't really felt the need to. There's a lot of good resources online. Uh, Brackies knows what he's up. What's up? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create a fractal uh, effect into uh, Unity. Uh, what I'll do is I'll play in the background. If you look at the screen at the bottom, I'll describe it a little bit. There will be devlogs, and there are devlogs for this game. Uh, it's Zoid, you know, you've seen it all for mobile. I'm now developing it for virtual reality. And uh, we can see here we've got our lasers, and you can fire your lasers, and they'll destroy the voids and then the fractals will eventually disappear uh, this in fact will work on any rigid body or collider so if we just hit this you know you can hit those back up in the air um, so be sure to check out the devlogs if you want to see how this game is made and how um, the progress goes for it because it's really, going to be really freaking fun um, sound effects are in it as you hear uh, briefly anyway uh, I won't get into this too much we've also used an advanced shading uh, for um, uh, active adaptive shading mechanics in here that's another tutorial so i'm just going to jump straight into it because i don't want to hazard about for too long so basically what we're going to do is get that effect where you see the little boys are exploding so you can do this at any model you want you know this is great for destructive environments and what you're going to need is autodesk maya if you have a student edition be sure to download service pack 5 so you don't get the error um and we're going to go and assign a new material to this we're going to make it lambert um this is just to ensure that we're not going to get any errors because uh, there's, I'm doing everything here just to prevent any errors and it might work for some people, might not make a difference. Uh, then I go to edit, delete by type, then history, and then we're going to do modify and freeze transformations. We're going to make sure we're in the dynamics editor, if we're, you're probably in the polygons, make sure in dynamics. Then go to effects and shatter. We're going to load up the second tab, which is solid shatter. We're going to change this to about 0 0.01 just to prevent errors. We're going to change this to 6. Uh, we're going to randomize the seed. And um, we're going to make sure everything's just left the same, it doesn't really matter. We click apply. As we can see here, we have a new fractal. So the, the void has been uh, put into different objects, and that is all you need to do for this thing. So rather than saving as exporting as an FBX, uh, we're going to export all, because if you export as an FBX, it might have some animations. So we're going to do this void 2, and I'm actually probably going to use this in the game if it actually works out. Um, we're going to go into... I uh, just need to make sure I know the low poly is okay. Okay, void 2, that's what I've called it. Right, so we've exported that, and then simply what we're going to do is just drag... I've exported that as an OBJ file. Um, you should know how to get that sorted. And my models. And um, we can have a look here. Boyd 2 is just here. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to click and drag this into our models folder. So, um, down here we can see we've got Frax. And this one's called Boyd 2. So, we don't need the material. We know it's just one cube. And if we just close this, um, we can down see at the corner we have Boyd 2. And it has all the shards added to it. So, if I just get you real small, because we don't need that just now, just now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this straight into the scene. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to go up to the top here and just make sure it's Generate Colliders is on and click Apply. Um, animations don't really matter. And then we can just uh, drag uh, by 2 straight into the scene, just to have a look at it. So as we can see here, we've got Fractals. Uh, we're just going to make sure... It, sometimes you might have a cube if you didn't... If you deselected the object in Maya. And then reselect it again, you can see it's a normal cube, and you save it as an OBJ, it'll actually save this cube on top of everything, so it's just going to explode as soon as you look, put it in Unity. Um, but what we're going to do is here just now, we're going to select all of these shards, and we're going to add a rigid body onto them. And then if we click play just now, we'll see in the scene just here, they should just explode, and they should just fall to pieces. Um, okay, uh, it didn't there because we basically need to make sure this is above the plane. Um, if, it's, if, we're, if we're playing it and it's below the, the rigid body plane that we have, it's just going to do you know, it could glitch out. So we just want to make sure that this is up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift it up a bit, gravity will push it down, it should just uh, scatter into little pieces. Like, yay! So, that's pretty cool, kind of satisfying, and uh, basically now, uh, that's the end of the tutorial. Super quick, uh, I'm just going to go into a bit of bonus stuff just now. So um, I'm probably going to use this in the game. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to instantiate this object when you kill a void. So the way this works is um, you just assign a very short script to it, and I can just show you just now. Right, fracture script. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to uh, send a message to this script um, if the void has been hit by the bullet and then if it has we're going to instantiate an object as a game object which is this fractured object you know we're going to instantiate it at the position of the void that you hit and then we're going to destroy the game object and then we're, which is the void and then we're going to destroy this fractured object after 1.5 floats um, and this message is called from bullet over here on the right um, we can see that uh, if it collides with enemy, then we're going to call fracture the void's hit, so then I'm going to destroy the uh, the bullet, and then over here we can see the message has been sent, void has been hit, we're going to spawn the fractured object, 
we're going to destroy the void and then we're going to destroy the fractured object after 1.5 seconds to keep it time efficient. So thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out the other videos on the channel and keep up to date with all the devlogs I'll be releasing for Zoid VR Survival.